Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brie, this is Balancing Life with Brie, and today I'm doing a what I eat in a day vlog. I'm gonna show you how I cook some of my recipes. I'm gonna show you what I take back for lunch. Today is Halloween. I do have my glasses today. Let's see if I can back up. Excuse me, beep, 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 beep. I am Belma from Scooby-Doo. So I'm gonna take these off so it's not like reflecting in the camera, but yeah, I did my eyeshadow today, even though you can't see it because of my glasses. But last night, quick rundown what I ate for dinner. I had the um, like TikTok famous crunch wraps. So I made one, I made all of these just now. Also, sorry if you can hear my dishwasher. I had lots of extras. So I made two fresh ones for my coworkers, cause that's what I do. And then I have this one for me. And then I'm taking back some veggie puffs. These are just the sour cream and onion, so good. And then since it's Halloween, I kind of wanted a little treatsy treat. So I have some yogurt covered pretzels and my water. That's literally all I'm bringing back today. For some reason, I'm not very hungry. So we shall see. I do have my family coming over to pass out candy in my subdivision with me and my best friend, Stephanie, and obviously Scott. I'm gonna be making us all lasagna soup. And then Steph said she'd bring something. I might make the caramel apples. I might do whip up like a teeny tiny charcuterie board. We'll see. Anyway, I'm gonna get going. Glad you're here. Let's see where this video takes us. Okay guys, I'm going to show you how to make a super easy baked ziti in the crock pot. Prep time for this was only about like 15 minutes. I did it while I was on my lunch and seriously, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. First thing you're going to wanna do is take one pound of ground beef, ground turkey, Italian sausage, ground chicken, whatever your heart desires. I used ground beef and you're gonna cook that up in a skillet. I cooked it up with about one onion. I do use the frozen onions, worth of onions, finely chopped. You're gonna add in one teaspoon of minced garlic, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of dried basil, one teaspoon of dried parsley, one 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes, one jar of pasta sauce. It's about two and a half cups, whatever pasta sauce of your choice. That will dictate your calories and your points, just remember that. Then you're going to add two and a half cups of water or chicken broth. I chose chicken broth and I'm very glad I did because I thought it tasted really, really good. And then one box of penne, ziti, or any other kind of short pasta. You can use macaroni noodles. It's about four cups. I use my Barilla Protein Plus pasta. That is my favorite. You're gonna cook that on low for four to six hours. Once you cook it, once it's all done, you're going to add one cup of shredded mozzarella cheese on top, put it on warm, and let it sit there for about five minutes. I did not film this part. I completely forgot to, and I was so hungry by the time I was going to eat this, and it smelled so good. So just so you know, you do add one cup of shredded mozzarella cheese on top, and then it's done. You can put things on top for a little garnish. I did not do that. This recipe makes eight servings and they're 385 calories a serving if you cook it exactly to the recipe. I'm gonna have it linked in my description box, but I would definitely recommend this for a quick meal during the week. Hello guys, it is Tuesday. So I'm still wearing my Halloween stuff because Halloween just never stops for me. It's a state of mind. It's not a time of the year. But I wanna show you what I'm bringing back for lunch. So last night I made everybody some lasagna soup and I had perfect amount of leftovers for my lunch today. So I'm going to be taking this. I will put the points and the calories down at the bottom of the screen for you guys. I am also taking a strawberry applesauce back. These are 80 calories, super, super good. And then your girl wants some Doritos. So I put about 200 calories worth of Doritos in here and I'm going to savor it and love every single bit of it. This is just a quick reminder when you're on a weight loss journey, don't cut out everything immediately. That's not, you have to live a little or you're gonna binge. It's just, it is what it is. But I wanted to show you guys, I just bit, look at my leftover makeup, Jeez Louise. She's rough this morning. But I wanted to show you guys, this is the leftover Halloween candy that I have. And I am taking it into work for all the guys at work. I know myself. And I know that if I kept this in a bowl at my house, I would eat it and eat it and eat it and eat it and eat it until it was gone. That's the bowl that it was in. And I would just set it out and I would completely eat it. I did save some. I don't know if you can see it in the background. Sorry, I don't have my glasses on, so I'm looking. Mm. Yeah, I did right there. I saved some candy right there for Scott. 
But other than that, this stuff's going to work. I don't want it in my house because I know myself and I know I'll eat it. So just taking small little preventative action to keep me on my course that I want to be on. So yeah, I do have volleyball tonight. I started dinner, which you've already seen, and I'm very excited for it. So fingers crossed it turns out. We will let you know after our game. Our game's early tonight. So thankfully I should be able to like come home and relax. <sighs> There's a wall here. I'm just leaning because I have to vent for a minute. So I think I talked about it, but Scott and I have been watching The Patient on Hulu. It's with Steve Carell. It's not like funny Steve Carell. It's serious Steve Carell. We have been watching The Patient and I love The Patient. It came out every Tuesday. We would sit down, we watch The Patient living our best lives. Last week was the season finale, trash. I was so upset, so upset because two shows that I've watched recently, I feel like just ended horribly. One, The Patient, and two, um, oh my gosh. It was about the people who would write letters and put, the, put it in the house. What is that called? The Watcher. Sucked. I was so disappointed. So just so you know, those are like two really hype shows and they end like, <clears throat> so I went back to my comfort show of Bob's Burgers because Bob has never let me down. So I've been watching Bob's Burgers. But if you have any shows that you've been watching that you like, that have decent endings, comment them down below and I will start watching them. We did watch the um, like the Lord of the Rings prequel on Rings of Power on Amazon and that one was really good. We started House of Dragon, I didn't like it. So, I don't know. I never watched Game of Thrones, so that could be a reason why. I just, I didn't like it. There was a lot of extra scenes that I'm just like, why am I watching this? I don't, I don't get how this goes to the plot, but to each their own, but yeah. All right, I'm gonna get back to work, but I just wanted to get on here, say hi, hello, show you my lunch. Okay guys, so this is the recipe that I posted on my Instagram and you guys were like, I need to see it, I need to see it. Well, here it is. This is the pineapple teriyaki meatballs. These were another recipe that was seriously, it was so easy, so easy to make. The first thing you're going to wanna do is preheat your oven to 400 degrees and then line it with parchment paper or a non-stick paper. In a large mixing bowl, you're going to add an egg, breadcrumbs, ground meat, crushed pineapple, scallions, soy sauce, garlic, ground ginger, black pepper, and you're going to stir that all together with a fork until it's completely combined. When you are putting in your crushed pineapple, make sure before, because you're going to make a sauce, you're going to want to drain that juice that comes out of the crushed pineapple can. Just keep that in mind. You can see me doing that. And then... You're going to separate your meat mixture once everything's all combined into about 20 equal little meatballs. You're just going to roll them into a little ball, place it on your sheet, and then put that in the oven for 15 to 18 minutes. I think next time I make this, I might do it in the air fryer and see if that makes them a little bit more crispy. I don't think they were very crispy, but they were still pretty good. When there's about 10 minutes left on the meatballs, you're going to start whisking in your sauce ingredients. So, except your cornstarch and water. So, in a saucepan, you're going to bring it over medium heat. Your sauce ingredients are two-thirds cup of reduced soy sauce, one-half cup water, two tablespoons of packed brown sugar, two tablespoons of that pineapple juice from your crushed pineapple, one teaspoon of minced garlic, a half a teaspoon of minced ginger. And you're going to mix that up until the packed brown sugar is completely dissolved. After that, you're going to add one tablespoon of cornstarch and one tablespoon of water. You're going to mix that together until like a little slurry. You're going to pour that in and that's going to thicken up that sauce. So you're going to cook that sauce on low for about five to 10 minutes until it's to your desired thickness. And then after that, all you have to do is take the meatballs right out of the oven and then toss them right in the mixture. So that's what I did. I just put them in for each like serving that I was making. And then I put it over some white rice. I just used boil in a bag rice. I ended up adding a little bit of sesame seeds on top for a little bit of a flair, but they were very, very easy to make. Another, I feel like a kid favorite too. I feel like kids would really like this and enjoy this one. But this is 236 calories for five meatballs and a third a cup of the sauce. I will have this recipe linked in my description. So make sure to check it out. It's from Emily Bites blog and it was absolutely delish. <laughs>
Hey guys, so it is the next day. So turkey meatballs, update on them, really, really good. Don't have them for leftovers today because I was going to coat them and like the rest of the mixture or whatever and then put them in a container and I dropped them on the floor. So I don't have them. So that's fun. It was good while it lasted, I guess. But thankfully I went to Trader Joe's last week and I picked up some more reduced scallop mac and cheese. Thank goodness I had this because literally I would probably be eating like a peanut butter sandwich, which is fine, but I don't really want that. So I'm taking one of these reduced scallop mac and cheeses. It's 270 calories and I believe there are eight points for the whole thing. If you're on Weight Watchers, I'm taking back some white cheddar veggie puffs, a special K strawberry pastry crisp, and some Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar. I am not like super hungry today. My stomach's been feeling like kind of weird. The flu's going around my office, so I'm getting kind of worried. I hope that I don't get it because I have a wedding to go to this weekend, so that would not be fun, but yeah, I'm feeling like kind of queasy, not the greatest. So I'm gonna pack this stuff up. I am going to the gym after work. I'm probably gonna do an arm day. I can pretty much pick whatever I want because I haven't been to the gym in a couple days. So everything's kind of like reset basically. I think I'm gonna be taking a little break off of leg days only because I like hurt the inner part of my hip. It just hurts really bad like when I move and it like pops, it's just not a good time. So I'm gonna be working on my arms today and yeah, I'll check in with you guys later. Um, nothing crazy is going on. It is Stephanie's last day at her job today. So we're going to celebrate and possibly do a crumble cookie taste test for you guys later. And yeah, I'll check in with you guys later. Hello, it is Friday. I am at a stoplight waiting to go home for lunch and see the dogs. Just a quick update, we did not film the crumble cookie review last night for you guys. I'm so sorry. By the time we got done with everything, it was like 11 o'clock and I was like, I am falling asleep. I need to go to sleep. I'm not filming this. So this week's been kind of crazy. I honestly haven't felt the best. I felt kind of like sick all week, which there's the flu going around my work right now. So I don't know if my body's just like been trying to fight off the flu all week, trying to make me feel like mediocre or if there's like something else going on. But I, I don't know, I'm feeling funky, but I did go to the gym yesterday. I did arms. I am trying, like I'm kind of taking, I don't remember if I talked to you guys about this or not, but I'm kind of taking a break from legs. Like today I'm supposed to do legs and I might do a really light workout for legs, but I hurt my hip like really bad. And I'm debating on going to see a chiropractor to see if they can kind of like pop it back in. I don't know if it's out of place. I don't know if I put a muscle. I don't know what I did, but it hurts seriously. So stinking bad. So I, I don't know. That's been kind of rough for me, but I did do a really good arm workout yesterday. I'm slowly raising the amount that I am lifting. Um, basically I read this thing that like you have a certain amount that you start at and then I do all of my reps. I do them three times. Um, like it's normally like three sets of 12 or three sets of 15. And basically they said by the last set, you should hardcore be struggling like your last couple of reps. So I kind of took that into consideration when I was like upping my weight. So um, I was doing everything at like, for like shoulder, like lateral shoulder raises and like all that kind of stuff. I was doing at 10 pounds because for those of you who are newer or haven't known me since like the beginning, I actually dislocated both of my shoulders at the gym in 20, this might have been before I started my YouTube channel, actually. I think it is now that I think about it, but it was in 2018 I dislocated both of them. Um, I was doing skull crushers, and it's just like an exercise, and I was doing them incorrectly, so 100% my fault, but I had like a bar. If you don't like to hear like weird stuff, I would fast forward like 30 seconds, but I had a bar, and I was holding it like behind my head like trying to come up and the bar like both my shoulders were like and they went out and I had like popped this one back in while I was at the gym 
And this is when I used to go to the gym in the morning. So it was literally like 4.30 in the morning. This arm, I had to pop back in. This arm was like down here. Like my shoulder was literally down and it was awful. It is one of the worst pain, like painful experiences I've ever gone through. I was in a brace, like a shoulder sling for like two months and I wasn't allowed to do anything with my left arm. And sometimes when I'm doing like shoulder workouts, I can feel it click and I panic because I'm like, Ugh, and I don't want to like mess that up again because it was seriously one of the most painful things that I have ever experienced in my entire life. I would not wish that on anyone. It was so hard for me to do my job guys because um, for those of you who don't know, I'm a chemist, so I work with my hands and I'm like in the lab making formulas every single day and I have like a mixer and it's on this like stand thing and you have to like move the mixer up and down and I only had one arm so I literally had to ask people for like two months I'm like can you move my mixer for me because they couldn't do it it was so hard I was so slow at work I was coaching volleyball at the time and at practice you're supposed to be able to like hit balls at the kids and like help them with stuff and I was like one arm in it it was it was uh it was a hot mess express. So that's just kind of like a little background why I start off like super low weight and then slowly start to move up. But I did move up yesterday and I am feeling it in my arms today. But my goal for like 2023 is, this is gonna be like weird. Like a lot of girls, I mean, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but from what I've seen, a lot of girls are like, oh, I wanna do legs, legs, legs. I wanna get a big old butt. I wanna, I don't care. I don't care about, like I care about my butt, but like me, it is what it is. I want like a shredded back like I want my back to look so good like in my swimsuits and like uh, like tank tops like I want to be like that girl's like oh my god look at her back like, she has a freaking solid back that's what I want so that is my goal I've been hardcore working on arms learning different exercises I'm still doing the alive by Whitney program for those of you who don't know that is the workout program that I use um, I did the 1.0 program, I did the 2.0 program, I'm redoing the 1.0 program right now. The only thing is it's legs two times a week, so I'm trying to like supplement for now. So, but yeah, definitely recommend. It's $15 a month. You pay if you have an iPhone. I know you pay like through the app store or whatever, but I love the Alive by Whitney program. I would recommend it to literally anyone because I think it's amazing, but yeah anyway I rambled enough I know this video is gonna be like kind of sporadic I did get to show you guys two dinners which was exciting but I yesterday we were celebrating okay it wasn't wasn't a filming day but I'm gonna try to get a video up for you guys Sunday I'm not a hundred percent sure if I'm gonna be able to or not because I do have that wedding and I don't pre-record videos I should but this is just you guys get like in the moment videos so you get like time stamped up to a T. But anyway, I'm gonna get off here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below some recipes you wanna see, some content you wanna see, let me know. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And as always, I want you to remember that every day is a new day to so pop, lock, and drop those pounds. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.